All right, so today we have uh, kind of an interesting video. Um, I don't remember under which video it was posted, but uh, it might have been like, um, might have been the Chicago Hall video or maybe one of my convention videos, but I don't remember. But I remember somebody on this channel left a comment and told me to go on a plush toy adventure. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, so I figure, what the heck, I'll just show off all the plush toys I got lying around here, being all useless and whatnot. Um, so here we are at the wall of DVDs. You can see there's my animated DVDs, and here's like the regular movies. Um, usually when you, you see me on my main channel, you, you know, you pretty much only see like this part right here. Uh, I would actually love to do a video going through my collection at some point uh, maybe I'll do that uh, eventually but um, what you don't normally see in the videos is what's down here and what's up here <laughs> I have a lot of stuff just kind of cluttered around um, so I figured uh, what the heck I'll show off everything and, th and this isn't even everything either I have stuff all around the room and I have some stuff in the other room that I'll probably uh, probably drag out because i might as well just do everything in this video all right i guess we'll start uh from top to bottom here uh we got these uh these guys here let's start with this one uh this guy right here is the most important plush toy in this entire house this is coco he was my childhood stuffed animal that i had uh, for as long as i can remember um i think the story was uh Either my parents or one of my grandparents like won him at Coney Island or something. I don't really remember, but um, yeah, he, I've as for as long as I can remember, I've had this guy, and uh, apparently I still have him. Um, so he, uh, I, I, I don't, uh, I st obviously don't sleep with him anymore, but he hangs up, uh, hangs around up there on the top shelf, uh, keeping the boogeyman away or whatever the lore of stuffed animals is. Um, but anyway, yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's the most important one in this house. And, uh, one day I hope to, you know, dust him off and probably, actually, he's a little, little bit, little bit tarnished, but, uh, I could probably put him in a low wash. But, uh, one day if I ever have kids, uh, he's going to go to them. Uh, moving on, we have, uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. I actually use this as a prop in my uh, real Ghostbusters review on the main channel. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the main channel, subscribe to the main channel. Um, this guy, I actually won out of a claw machine at a Walmart, I think, long, long time ago. Well, obviously, it was a long time ago because um, uh, obviously it was a, a video was like five years ago. Wow, I can't believe that. Uh, a lot of these have already been in other videos. Um, this one uh, was in the uh, weird stuffed animals video that I had uh, a long time ago that I migrated over to this channel. Uh, this guy's a rat rascal, I think he's called. You squeeze him and he makes a little sound with his tongue. Um, yeah, I had him forever too. I've had, I've, I think I've had Coco for longer, but this guy I've had for some time now. I thought we got rid of him, but I found him in a in a box in a storage unit and I decided to bring him back over here. It was kind of squished in there. Didn't seem right. Uh, next to him we have Pac-Man. Uh, I also won this out of a claw machine. By the way, uh, you can expect to hear that a lot uh, in this video. Uh, I've mentioned before that I'm very good at claw machines and a lot of the stuff I have lying around here um, definitely I got out of claw machines. Uh, this one uh, I got in a like a little arcade in Miami and um, the the people who work there were actually surprised to see see me win it but I am pretty good and uh, as you can tell when you uh, through this when you watch this video I uh, I do win a lot of these through claw machines that's probably why I keep getting them all cluttered up in my house it, it becomes a problem sometimes because I I'm so good and it's it's something I, I really enjoy doing that it gets to the point sometimes uh, where I have too many and I end up giving them away at like um, Christmas or something and toy toy drives and stuff like that um, but yeah I uh, got him a really good one too very big and 
bulky. Actually kind of proud of that win. All right, moving along here, we got uh, some overstock DVDs that don't fit on the shelf because I don't have any more room for them. Uh, again, I'll, I'll talk about those in another video at some point. Uh, over here, next to my uh, Final Fantasy VII Pepsi promo, uh, you know what, I might as well talk about this because when the hell am I going to get to? Um, there used to be a baseball card shop by where I lived a long time ago, and the guy just had this, and he said, hey, do you want this? And I'm like, sure, why not? And I took it home, and yeah, I've never seen one of these before. Uh, what I find interesting is that they've clearly taken Cloud's uh, Buster Sword out of the picture because <laughs> he's just kind of holding his hand up for no reason. I think that's he's supposed to have his sword draped over his shoulders or something. Um, but yeah, very unusual piece, and I, I really like having it around. I'm not even that big of a fan of Final Fantasy, but um, yeah, it's just it's just really funny to me. Uh, anyway, moving along, uh, we have Piglet. Uh, this is a very old one, too. This one also is from when I was a kid. Um, not as old as Coco, but uh, he's been around a while. Uh, we have the <laughs> also from the Weird Stuffed Animals video, uh, we have the Hulk, the Marvel Round Bottoms uh, toy line. Again, I got this out of a claw machine. Uh, very, very strange, very unusual, very hilarious. You gotta love that face. He's got there. Um, next to him, we have Gizmo from Gremlins. I actually bought this one at a comic shop a long time ago. Uh, don't know why. Uh, I like Gremlins, but I'm not a huge fan of Gremlins. But uh, it's a very, it's a very nice toy. Just got to keep him, uh, keep him dry. Otherwise, all hell breaks loose. Okay, now these next ones are kind of. Uh, I'm not really sure why I have these. These are two characters from uh, Monsters uh, University, a movie that I really, really don't like. Um, not a big fan of Monsters, Inc. in the first place. It's, it's an alright movie, but the, the, the prequel was just so stupid and unnecessary. But um, what I, one of the things I can say good about it is that it had some really fun side characters, and um, these two are definitely my favorites. This is... I don't even think their names were ever said in the movie. This is uh, Claire and Brock. They were like they they were like si uh, at like a sign up table or something, and they only had a few scenes in the movie. But I, I don't know. I just really grew attached to them, and I don't know why. Um, yeah, again, the side characters in that movie were fun, but uh, the rest of the movie, uh, not not a fan. Uh, coming over here, we have Marie from Splatoon that my girlfriend bought for me when she visited the World of Nintendo store in New York. She went on a trip with her friends and they stopped by World of Nintendo and I was like, and she, she contacted me and I was like, uh, what are you gonna get there? He's like, I don't know, is there any, any games you like or anything? And I told her, you know, I, I really like Splatoon. And there's not a whole lot of Splatoon merchandise, or at the time there wasn't. Uh, so she found Marie and she sent it to me. So. It was really, really nice of her. Uh, here we have also from the weird stuffed animals video, uh, Ant Eater Dirt Walker or something, some some kind of weird parody of the the pre the Star Wars prequels. Um, again, I don't really know much about this guy, but I do know that um, they're kind of rare. Apparently, I uh, don't remember where I even got him. I'm not sure. Um, might have been at a recreation machine, but I'm not sure. But um, there he is. This is where he stays among the other weirdo stuffed animals I got. Uh, there's a Splatoon squid. I actually got that at a Walmart. Um, and then we have this. If you um, check out uh, the bootleg toy video that I had that I, I shot years and years ago. Uh, yeah, here's the angry Pikachu <laughs> that I really like. Uh, it's, just, it's just really funny to look at. I just see him so angry protecting your money I guess uh, moving well let's let's move over here I have this this is uh, Koro Neko and if you know where he's from I think it's a he might be a she but I'm not sure if you know where it's from you are awesome uh, there got to be a point where um, it, it was kind of a requirement to have one of these if you were uh, like an anime fan way back in the day and I actually got this out of a like a grab bag I bought one of those like you know ten or twenty dollar bags at a convention it's got like a bunch of 
anime stuff in it and uh yeah this this came out of it so there's my uh there's my Kuro Neko. all right let's move down here uh there's there's actually the slimer from the chicago toy haul video uh actually when i do videos i kind of want to do like a stuffed animal rotation for this uh, empty area i might need to look into getting like a small shelf or something but and I actually, uh, I won't be able to do much of, with it because I have um, so little space here, and it's not too many, not too many of the plush toys are big enough to like fit in there. But um, I'll figure something out. But yeah, there's Slimer. I did keep him because it is Slimer. I don't care if he is from the the reboot, but whatever. Anyway, let's uh, let's go down here. And uh, again, you've probably seen all these before, or most of these before. Um, there's the penguin from the last Tariba video. Uh, there's the sharks, the pink one and the blue one. There's Gurr from the Chicago video. There's uh, Clockwork Truffle from uh, Tariba video. There's going to be more Tariba videos, by the way, at least two more. Um, they may or may not be out by the time this video comes out, but um, we'll see. I might release this one first because... Really, why? Why would I? Why would? Wouldn't I? Because the the Tariba, the Tariba toys are just gonna clutter this up a little bit more. Um, speaking of which, here's the uh, stitch, the pirate stitch from the very first Tariba video. There he is, and here's a whole mess of Pokemon over here. Let me move so my shadow's not in the shot. Um, pretty much all of these are bought. Uh, there's a couple, just a couple of my favorites there. I got. Flygon, I got Breloom. Breloom is a very like hard to stand up because his head is so heavy. Uh, I got a couple of Rowlets. Got some. Uh, I, I really like the Grass Pokemon. The, my two favorite Pokemon are the Grass Pokemon and the um, the Ghost Pokemon. Uh, especially, uh, especially the starters. I really like the uh, the Grass starters. I've always had. Uh, there's um, Chespin. There's Snivy, I actually bought Snivy at a Kmart that was going out of business. Um, now here's where things get a little interesting. Uh, I have uh, a couple friends who took a trip to Japan, and uh, they actually took two trips, and they told everybody that we knew, you know, make a list of stuff you want us to look for, and we'll we'll get it. So I made them a list, and uh, unfortunately they didn't really find much of the of what I was looking for. Uh, but I made I, I gave him a small list of Pokemon and um, Hoopa, who's one of my favorite of the uh, legendaries. They got him at the Pokemon Center, so that's really cool. This was on their second trip. Uh, got Haunter down there. I, I actually didn't know there was a Haunter Pokemon uh, uh, plush toy, but yeah, I ordered that one online. Uh, now we have some uh, Zootopia. These were like on sale at Target, and I. Figure why the heck not? Got uh, they're kind of cute. I like them. Let me move them out of the way. <coughs> uh, there's Ash from Sing, and every while well, you touch one thing and everything falls. It is Ash from Sing. I saw that was on sale, and I really liked her as a character in the movie. I kind of like that movie. People kind of give it a bad rap, but um, uh, it's it's all right. I think I think people are kind of hard on it, but I might be talking about that in a future video. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's move that out of the way. We've got some more Pokemon. Here's a Pikachu. Required to have a Pikachu in your house if you like Pokemon. Uh, this one I actually did win in a claw machine, and unfortunately the tag came off. Uh, here it is. He's from, uh, well, is this Diamond and Pearl? Yeah, it's Diamond and Pearl. So yeah, this is Pikachu. I won him out of a claw machine, but I don't remember where. All right, so buried down here couple more Pokemon. Uh, this was from the first trip that my friends took to Japan. He got me a Holucha. Apparently he was the last one at the Pokemon Center. So that was pretty cool. They managed to get one of those. And uh, one of the Pokemon that I asked them to look for was Bulbasaur. Because I actually didn't have a Bulbasaur. Here's the only Bulbasaur they were able to find. Yeah, um... <laughs> This was the only Bulbasaur that was available in Japan. Like, are you kidding me? Bulbasaur, the Pokemon number one, didn't have a, uh, like, like a really good plushie. I mean, it's kind of funny. It's just so 
derpy and weird and <laughs> oh man uh, and you can put your finger in its bulb and it's yeah i don't i gotta find like a proper one i mean this one's funny but you know i, I want one I, I like i like my toys to be as accurate as possible all right so uh moving along here we have a couple of fraggle rock characters um this one whoop stand up please so that people can see you this one here this is a vintage one this one's from like 1986 i believe found this in a pile of stuffed animals at the flea market for a dollar and it's in really good condition too it's got a little bit of dirt there um but yeah i was actually surprised to see that uh and now this one here is interesting because this was probably the most recent claw machine win I found him at a claw machine at uh, Kmart, what I think is the last Kmart on the planet, and um, I just saw him sticking up uh, out of a bunch of stuff, and I was like, wow, you don't see that very often, so I got him in one try, I got it in one try, and I can't believe it too, because not only was he buried, but he's friggin' huge, and um, I kind of wish I had recorded that and posted it, because uh it was probably one of the best claw machine wins i've ever had and I, I really wish i had it recorded um but this one is actually from this year so it's kind of interesting to see you know the difference between a vintage one and a more recent one um the vintage one's not too bad it's kind of kind of stiff uh the newer one's a little softer uh the thing is with the newer ones the eyes are kind of weird like, look at it, they're made of material. This one, the eyes are like the typical, like, you know, Muppet ping pong ball eyes they usually have. Um, I think this looks a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, for this one, uh, red here usually has big poofier, you know, pigtails. They're usually, like, up like this. Um, so, <laughs> this one has accurate uh, hair and look, and this one has the accurate eyes. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love Fraggle Rock. It's one of my favorite, um, uh, one of my favorite old, uh, TV shows I used to watch a lot as a kid. So, uh, I had a couple of these, um, basically paid $2 for this, this set here. So that's, it's not too bad, I suppose. All right. So let's move on over here and see, oh my gosh, it's a Teddy Ruxpin. This is my Teddy Ruxpin from when I was a kid. And, um... Yeah, he's just been kind of sitting here ever since I dug him out of storage. Uh, unfortunately, he does not work. I tried my best to get him to work, but um, sadly, I couldn't. Uh, I was actually kind of afraid to take him apart because um, I feel like I would have like broken something even more. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll look up someone online that knows how to repair these. Maybe I'll get him working one day, which is a shame because I actually do have, uh, I do have a tape in there. And I tried to get it to work, and it just didn't. So, he's not creepy, guys. Teddy Ruxpin is not creepy. He's a lovable bear who just wants to tell stories. He's not creepy, okay? I will fight you if you say he's creepy. <laughs> not really, but he's not creepy. But yeah, anyway, that's all the stuff I got over here. Now let's uh, kind of walk around the room and see some other stuff I got, like... Um, these right here that I have hanging off my my fan. Um, here's a blooper. Bought uh, bought this at the World of Nintendo store in New York when I went there. And I have uh, here's the Splatoon coin bag that I got off of Tariva. Figured I'd have the uh, the two squids hanging out together. They don't really have much to say to each other because uh, I'm pretty sure they they don't like each other. But anyway, um, over here where you can see my games. Here's the zombie cat that I dug out because it's getting close to Halloween. This one was also in the weird stuffed animals video. Uh, here's some more recognizable things. Here's the feisty pet that I have. Still works. Here's Filbert, the two-headed <laughs> the two-headed rabbit from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh, moving over here behind my... Uh, let me move this out of the way because the reflection is awful. Uh, here we have... A Mario doll uh, that I won at an arcade, uh, not through a claw machine. I won him by turning in tickets. 
Um, not really the best, you know. The more I look at this, the the cheaper it looks. I mean, look at that. It's awful. But uh, I suppose it's not too bad for an arcade prize. Uh, moving on up here where all these figures are. Uh, we have Donkey Kong. Uh, I believe that was from DK64, which is funny because I also have this barrel from DK64 that's still wrapped up. Uh, I don't actually, I think this is in there, but this one's like sealed. So I don't know why I have two of these. Um, it's been a long time, so who knows. Anyway, on top of the Virtual Boy, there is my Babam plush. Uh, I love Babam. He's one of my favorite uh, Mario enemies <clears throat> and i uh, also got him at the world of nintendo store uh, i have a koopa paratroopa this one um it it actually says world of nintendo on i don't want to take it off because he might uh he might fall um it says the it's got the same tag as the uh other world of nintendo uh characters but uh this one we actually won at a, a claw machine in new jersey uh, I, actually, I didn't win this one. We were there with my whole family. My mom actually won this one. Um, pretty good uh, win for a claw machine. Pretty good prize for a claw machine, too. Got to go back there. Got to try and win some, some cool stuff. Next to him, we have Ein from Cowboy Bebop underneath my hats of Gravity Falls and Rocco's Modern Life. Um, this is Ein from Cowboy Bebop. This uh, I actually bought off of a friend who was moving away and uh, I bought a couple things off of her and figured I'd take this because I love Cowboy Bebop so put his ear up there there we go there's Ayn I guess I could show this off too this is the first present my girlfriend ever bought for me this is a little panda bear it says be mine mission accomplished um, back here also I have the Connectimals uh, limited edition uh, plush uh, gift I guess um, don't know why I have this. Don't know why I still have this because I have no intention of playing any Kinect games ever again. And moving over here to the side of the room that I never film, uh, there's my boxes of comic books. There's some amiibos that don't have a spot on the wall yet. Uh, there's the murder bear. Just sleeping. Good. Uh, some Tariba prizes that I haven't put away yet. Um, but I have a couple things here. Here's a... Like a Triforce pillow that um, my friend, a friend of mine actually made this. And it's um, pretty cool looking. She made this for my birthday. It's really cool. And here we have the uh, the Remember pillow that I got from Tariba. Uh, I should really keep this close by so I can remember to uh, not go crazy with the Tariba uh, plays. Um, but yeah, um see this is my i actually show this too this is my old 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 marvel comic book box which is really cool it's got the hulk it's got uh the fantastic four on the top it's got a bunch of other characters on the other side had this forever i had this at least since 1990 i think maybe longer um so yeah that's the, the uh stuffed animals i have lying around the room here uh i do have quite a few for someone who says he doesn't really like stuffed animals uh but then again sometimes they just accumulate uh who knows but um i do have a lot more so uh give me a second and i'm gonna go get them and then he came from the other room with more bins of stuff yeah so um this is a lot of like overstock stuff that i have i guess um that I've just been kind of accumulating over the years. Uh, just a whole bunch of more stuff, like stuff I won out of crane machines, like this Domo Kun, I won that out of a crane machine. Um, this, like, Coca-Cola elephant, uh, I believe that came out of a crane machine. Um, this giraffe, I won this out of a carnival game, not a, not a crane machine, a, a like, uh, which, which one was it? I think it was the one where you shoot the water through the thing and you have to blow up the balloon. Yeah, I won him. Um, got this out of the Nostalgia Crate. This is the um, Kermit the Frog uh, Burger King thing, I think. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's, yes. Uh, I have this giant M&M ball. 
Uh, I actually got this at work. Um, they gave us a whole bunch of M&M stuff, and my boss gave me that. So, yeah, that's the kind of stuff I get from work. Uh, I got this bird I want out of a crane machine. I have a minion that I want out of a crane machine. Uh, there's a lot of other crap in here. Um, I got this out of a crane machine. This is Paul Stanley of KISS. However, this one kind of comes with a little bit of a catch because... It says Gene Simmons on this on the tag. Uh, yeah, this is an error. Um, this guy might actually be worth some money. Um, I got this Star Trek thing. I believe this was to promote the first uh, movie, the, the reboot movie from 2009. Uh, what else? I got the Spider-Man from the Nostalgia Crate. That minion, I think I showed that already. Um, got this Darth Vader. I don't even remember where this guy came from. Um... This from that weird show, you ever hear of Hero 108? Um, yeah, I got this guy from a crane machine as well. Um, I actually really like the design on this one. I don't remember much about the show, but this guy kind of looks cool. He's like a weird zombie rabbit, and I kind of kind of like that. Uh, here's that beanie baby I got from Nostalgia Crate. I got a bunch of alien stuff. Got stuff like this, kind of just buried deep in there. Oh, here's Spock from uh the start also i believe this came out with the um the live long and prosper thing here uh more alien stuff a lot of bu bunch of alien stuff got this boba fett uh where did i get this i don't remember where i got this it might have been on a box or something uh here's some more alien stuff i got this cool looking alien guy here i got these alien heads that look as ridiculous i got so much stuff guys i got this alien thing that doesn't even look like a thing i, I don't know see this is what i'm talking about i i i'm got so much crane stuff all over the place i got these like sports things that i can't do anything with um i hate to say it but a lot of this stuff has probably got to go because it's just taking up space uh but anyway that's pretty much it for this bin oh by the way this is the uh the bin i used for the uh, channel banner. So, fun little fact for you. Um, moving over here to some better stuff. Uh, well, actually, down here first. These are the um, the KFC Pokemon plushes. I keep these with all this stuff. Uh, I showed those off in the uh, Pokemon video where I opened up the um, Burger King toy. Uh, moving over here, I got some Legend of Zelda stuff. Um, I got this right here. This was actually a birthday present from a friend. So that's cool. This is from Four Swords, I'm guessing. Yep, Four Swords. Um, got that. Pretty good looking. Uh, I have these um, Ocarina of Time ones, though. And I don't know. Some about these are not so great. Uh, for one thing, they're very top-heavy, as you can see. You can't really sit them down. Well, I guess you can kind of tripod them. Some of them work better than others. Um Link's collar came off a couple of times, and these are official, by the way. Uh, I like I like that young Link has a little navvy poof ball. Um, I don't remember when I got these. Probably uh, might have been like an early eBay purchase or something. Um, but then you get over here. Zelda is one of the worst ones because with Link you can kind of tripod him. Zelda has no way of standing up. She's just this weird cylinder and her head is so heavy that it's just it's impossible unless she's leaning on something um have a goron here uh this darunga uh he's pretty good he looks all right he's kind of super deformed but not too shabby um uh, ganondorf on the other hand he looks like a muppet he looks like something from the jim henson's workshop doesn't he hold on let me fix his collar here <laughs> is, is this those giant hairy eyebrows and that big smile like it looks like someone from the muppet show <laughs> um yeah but those are those are not too bad uh moving over here to this other bin and the final bin um i got a Perry the platypus uh this one uh, i don't really care for this one is this something about the face like look at that like one eye is more wider open than the other and he, he looks like he's disgusted about something i don't know um here's this captain america shield uh obviously not an official product 
but I won this out of a crane machine, and as you can see, uh, does it even say Marvel? No, this is uh, this is definitely not an official product because it doesn't say Marvel or Disney on it. Um, per looks pretty cool though, not too bad. Uh, but then I also won out of a uh, different crane machine, a Mjolnir. <laughs> It's supposed to be Thor's hammer, and it's all... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the... Mjolnir's gone flaccid. <laughs> this is a little treat for those of you who've made it this far in the video. Just some a little something to laugh at. Uh, I guess you could just, like, hang it up or something, and it'll, uh, it'll be okay. But, uh, no, I just find that hilarious. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, here's that ALF I got at um, Salvation Army. Pretty cool. Um, here's that uh, Garfield that I got from also Salvation Army. I showed these off in a, in a video. Uh, here's another thing I want out of a crane machine. Green Lantern to promote the Green Lantern movie. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's have a good look at his face. Uh, that uh, is not Ryan Reynolds. I don't know who that is, but... It ain't Ryan Reynolds. Actually, um, another one I'm kind of proud of, uh, a win I'm proud of, because look how big he is. I'm actually surprised I, I won that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. And uh, finally, we got this guy that I showed off in a previous video as well. Uh, I actually thought this was a pound puppy, but I found out this is actually like a knockoff pound puppy. It's If I, I had seen the, uh, the collar... Or taking a close look at it. Hold on, let me let me spin it around so we can get a good look. The collar says. The collar says. Says lonely puppies. It's actually embossed on the collar, which is actually kind of uh, impressive. Yeah, this is not a pound puppy. This is a lonely puppy. It's a it's a knockoff brand i think because I, I think uh pound puppies was made by uh mattel and uh this i i think um this is url toys which i've never heard of and um yeah let me have a good look at that um uh, new materials made in town yeah it does not say any uh or i i think i think pound puppies was mattel i could be wrong but uh URL toys is not, nothing I'm really familiar with. So, yeah, this isn't a pound puppy. It is old. It came out about the same time as pound puppies. But he's all right. See if somebody wants him. So, yeah, that's um, that's my uh, plush toy collection. I got lots and lots of stuff. And uh, I hate to say it, but some of it's got to go. I think I'll make a big donation to some toy drive uh, this coming Christmas or something. Um but because I, I need more space, I want to empty out at least one of these bins. But um, yeah, uh, <laughs> this is my crane, uh, my my claw machine habit uh, can be blamed for a lot of this. But um, a lot of a lot of the stuff is pretty cool though. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't, because if you've made it this far, then uh, obviously you're interested in what I'm doing. There's my there's my light that I had to put back. Um, so yeah, I got to go clean up all this. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. We'll leave off on, uh, on Muppet Ganondorf. He is really hairy.